Hey everyone, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Last time out, we paid a little visit to Mega Building 04 down in Arroyo, where we found that, um, that bizarre BD that contained cautionary tale about a cyber psycho in Corpo Plaza. Uh, hello. Reply to Falco's message. Ooh, this might be the... We got a message from Falco! Ah, oh, this is the follow-up to that very thing. So, uh, yeah, we had that cautionary tale. Um, and uh, the obscure message that David Martinez had not followed the teachings of such a tale. And would we? And um, after asking our friend Moo, he uh, said he'd follow up. And it looks like that might be the follow-up message. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Don't fuck with the mocks. Wise words. Um, yes, we then met up with Kerry Uridine on uh, what we thought was his yacht, the Seamurai, and had a bit of a heart-to-heart. -heart. He seems to have gone through another one of life's little loops and seems at peace with the world, which is um, which is a good thing in my book. And uh, <laughs> then we promptly blew up his manager's yacht. And um, yeah, after that, we then went up to uh, Northern Kabuki and did a little job for Regina. Um, managed to get, uh, what's his name now? Tiny Mike, one of her informants, out of a, a Militech lockdown. So, yeah, things are beginning to, to beginning to heat up in the city again. So we've also got a couple of text messages to read. We've got that one from Falco, which I'm, I'm very excited to take a look at. But we also had a text message from Panam Palmer during the last Missing Persons uh, video. And I've got one more as well, apparently. Oh, that will be a missing person's text, won't it? Okay, let's take a look at Panam's message. Let's see what she's got for us. Here we go, Panam Palmer. I could listen to this on repeat for hours. Okay, I have to tell you something, but if you tell another living soul, I will hunt you down to the ends of the earth, understand? So, you know that new song from Us Crash? They were literally just playing next to us before I looked at my messages. The one with Kerry Uridine? I, I normally don't listen to that kind of music, but... Shit, every time it plays on the radio, I start humming along. You should check it out. <laughs> well, funny you should mention that. The collab between Kerry and Uscracks was kind of because of me. <laughs> yeah, we may have had a bit of a hand in that. Surely you jest. No, but seriously? Come off it, you're not fooling anyone. How would you even know Kerry Uridine? <laughs> well, long story. Do you have any one of Night City's finest mercs? Really hard to believe that I get gigs from Rocker Boys, but for real, I do promise to tell you the whole story one day. Or... All thanks to the biochip in my head. I have to leave it at that for now. Texting won't do justice to this story's sheer fuck upness. Um, let's not let's not sort of go too in depth with the whole chip in the head business. Although we did spit it, we laid it all out on the line to her before, didn't we? Oh my god, look at these responses. I've never met a real rock star. What's he like? I remember hearing somewhere that he wanted to kill himself in his career with a bang. Well, that's not completely untrue. Kerry needed help and a friend too. Over the last few years, everything that happened with Johnny and Samurai, it's all on the net if you want to read about it, really started to get under his skin. He was going through a pretty violent three-quarter life crisis when I met him. I helped him get through it in one piece. The Us Crack song's kind of like icing on this whole cake. Or, for someone who wouldn't get caught dead listening to Laser Pop, you sure do know your gossip. If you ask me, all that talk about Kerry being suicidal and depressed was just a uh, typical scream sheet scop talk. He's a little whacked in the head, sure, but he's fine otherwise. Real Nova character too. Us crack girls are a treasure to behold. I'm glad they kissed and made up in the end. Believe me, it wasn't easy. Um, yeah, I don't. I I feel a little bit, a little bit wrong, out of place, basically saying that it was all crap, and instead suggesting that it may have all been crap, in my opinion. Um. Yeah, I, I kind of got to see the inside story on Kerry Urida, and I don't want to abuse that position. As silly as that is, none of this is going to come out to Kerry. Uh, oh. Okay, apparently that has uh, shocked and surprised Pan Am to the point where she's now refusing to talk to me. Okay, fine, good. Um, <laughs> let's, uh, do I want to take a look at Falco's text message now? Oh, I'm so intrigued. I'm so intrigued. We also do need to get in touch with Blue Moon and see uh, if we can't help with her little uh, crazy fan situation. Oh, do you know what? Screw it. Let's take a look at Falco's text message. Oh, okay. So, um, if you don't recognize the name Falco, that means you haven't watched Edge Runners. So, fair warning, Edge Runners spoilers coming. Heard rumblings you were searching for David Martinez's crew. Well, you found it. Name's Falco. There's something you want? I found an XBD. I don't know who scrolled it, but it mentioned Martinez. Want to get in touch and find out more? Or, not really, just curious. Heard about Martinez and a crew before, but never seen you guys in the afterlife. Um, 
Right. We might come off as just an intruding, nosy, um, nosy person just sort of uh, finding out about edge runners if we say that one. So let's just go for the XBD. This should pique his interest. Uh, Falco. Oh, good. Oh, we're out of the beers, out of the spotlight. Gone dark as a cop stand coffee. Okay. Whatever you heard, the past is the past. Not one we aim to dig into. Right. So. Now, we did rummage around in some in yours, V. Wait, hold on. Jeez, you work fast. Mu and I would have only contacted him a day ago. The merc who popped out of thin air and took Night City by storm. And given your history with Arasaka, well, you and David got more in common than you might reckon. Wonder where this is leading. Now, I'm sure you could track us down if you tried. That's why I gave you a knock first, my way of saying don't bother. Okay. Our 15 minutes might be spent, but you still got time on the clock. Left something nice for you with El Capitan. Take care and good luck out there, V. Huh. Left something for us. Okay, that's it. Trail's gone cold. Um, right, so we are out of the spotlight. I'm trying to remember who was actually left standing at the end of Edge Runners. I think, if I remember right, it was literally just Falco and Lucy, wasn't it? So that would make sense that they're thoroughly, um, sort of off the chart. Lucy doesn't even live on Earth anymore. And Falco presumably just hung up his um, driving gloves and stepped away from the game. Okay, collect the gift from El Martinez's crew left with Muammar El Capitan Reyes. Right. Well... Uh, oh, God. Where are we going? Oh, we're going to the dam overlook again. Okay. Uh... I'm quite keen to go and take a look at that, but I mean, that's all the way down south again. Um, I feel since we're up here in the north, it would make sense to uh, give Blue Moon a call. Um, I'm pretty certain she said something about stalking her stalker around Kabuki Market. Let's give her a ring. Um, yeah, I, 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 I'm quite intrigued. We'll have to uh, we'll have to see very soon what that is that's been left with the El Capitan. V, oh thank God you called. I got another letter. Oh God. He said he wants to wear my face as a mask. <laughs> You've got to help me. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, it sounds like he's in love, Blue Moon. You should be flattered. Can't your bandmates do something? Can't your bandmates do anything about it? You seem like a bunch of girls who can take care of themselves. Yeah, sick red menace and purple hey, force on him. I don't even know what this guy looks like. We need to catch him in the act. Like, quietly. Okay, As fine. For us, you said it yourself. The whole city knows our faces. Yeah, him more than any other by the sounds of it. All right, I'm in. Happy to help out. Oh, Carrie was right. You're like super chill. <laughs> so, I've got a plan. I'll go for a little stroll by Kabuki Roundabout while you hang back. Watch out for any signs of trouble. You catch something suspicious, like you see the guy, and you're a hundred percent sure it's him. I'll know what to do. No, no, wait. We're not killing anyone here. That would be bad for the bands, like PR and stuff. <laughs> All we want to do is teach him a lesson. Whatever. You make the rules. Awesome. So just go to Kabuki, sit on the bench, and wait for me. I'll come to you. All right. Well, Kabuki's just up the road. Let's get rid of... Hold on. Looks like we need to switch jobs over here. Uh, here we go. Every breath you take. Um, I'll tell you what, before we read that, let's see what the summary is for um, for whatever we're picking up from El Capitan. Someone sprinkling XBDs around a city with cyber psychos on in the leading roles. The fuck's that about? And the warning at the end. Strangest fucking PSA I've ever seen. Only threat to follow here is the name dropped at the end, David Martinez. That's like the headstrong type. I like him already. And then this one? I go to the meeting spot and wait for Blue Moon. 
Call Blue Moon if you want to help. Okay, we've just done that. Blue Moon has a problem, one that a publicist, an agent, or even an entourage can't solve. That's because this is a problem with some actual meat on it, one that called for somebody with a half-decent brain on their shoulders and some hot iron in their holster. <laughs> and you called me? Someone really loves her, or loves to hate her. you got to find this guy and take him out. For most, an opportunity to help a big-time pop icon like her only happens once in a... Well, you get it. Blue Moon has a problem. When, oh, it's, it's just repeated. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I get it, Johnny. Thanks. Uh, 500 meters that way. Let's just hop on something a little bit swift. Um, hey, well, let's take a different... Ooh, I tell you what. We can take out the Kusanagi. Haven't seen the Aiba Kusanagi for quite a little while. Hello, my dear. Uh, no. No. Was it a mistake calling you? Are you going to buck and throw me off halfway around? Okay, just a short hop and a skip and a jump up to Kabuki Market. So, did we get... I'm trying to remember, did we get a description of this fan? Or... Hold on, are we using... Are we using Blue Moon as bait here? Is that what's happening? Is she actually going to be in Kabuki Market to draw this guy out? This just seems... I know we're in a very public place, but maybe quarter to one in the morning wasn't the best time to do this. This When the uh, when the market is at its most uh, sparsely populated. Maybe we could have picked a better time. Hey-ho! In for a penny. Right, let's... Um, I'm going to leave... I'm going to leave the Kusanagi just here so I can easily hop onto it if I need to, uh, like, chase the guy down or anything. Okay, we need to, uh, well, we need to sit and wait for Blue Moon, don't we, by the looks of it, so who knows what time this is going to take us till. Uh, very, very far away, but, oh, whoa, God. You're here. I genuinely didn't recognise her. So was enough. A second, I'm gonna get up and walk a little, okay? When I call you, you'll start following me, but don't get too close, okay? We can't spook our guy. Okay. Keep your eyes peeled for anyone lurking around, watching me, spying on me from above, whatever. Anything creepy like that. Anyone spying from above? Okay. Got it. <sighs> okay. Here goes. Red Menace is keeping an extra lookout from a vantage point high up. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wish me luck. This, this feels like a real sort of Powerpuff Girls mission that we're going on. I'll tell you what, she's got some balls to be doing this, hasn't she? Oh, hello. Okay. you can go. Right, need to look out for her. So, blue spotty jacket. There she is, going down the stairs. Make sure the stalker isn't lurking on any level of kabuki roundabout. Okay. Find the stalker. Don't let Blue Moon get hurt. Call Blue Moon if you want. Oh, why is Blue Moon if you want to help? Still showing. Hey, I know you've got. Give me. Rip your eyes out. <laughs> That's it, Blue Moon. Make a scene. Ugh, crusty old geezers. <laughs> hey, listen, baby, like. Oh God, who have we got here? Are these animals? Hold on. Oh god, why is there a gang of animals at the end of the alley? That's not good. Everything's okay. Make sure the stalker isn't lurking on any level of kabuki roundabout. Option. Oh shit. Uh, excuse me, sorry, coming through. Hey! Bit of fights an amazing song! I know! <laughs> it actually sounds like a genuine fan. <laughs> She's checking out the magazines that she hasn't given an interview for yet. I suppose I should probably looking, be looking in the gun shop in case it comes charging out. Okay. Uh, 
What is your name? Griselda Martinez. She says Green Cloud. Okay. She thinks she's in the group. <laughs> I miss my sister. Okay, fine. Go find her. I'm busy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nice nickname. Green Cloud. Um, thanks. Oh, sweet GC for short. That's how you sign your letters, right? This what? alley's perfect. Understand. Oh, she's ahead. Keep an eye out, okay? Be careful. And whoa, remember, whoa, whoa, whoa. No killing, please. Hey, no. no. Sit. Right, the system reset you. Um, Blue Moon, you might want to move. She's got to get out. <laughs> right, hold on one second. <laughs> we need a non-lethal approach here. Um, <laughs> you'll do nicely. Whoa! Let hit Blue Moon. Sit down. Stay down. Ooh, okay. Um, that was fun. You okay? I think she's all right. Nobody else seems particularly bothered at what happened. Went down. A mod still of Blue Moon. Oh my God. Okay. Blue Moon, I've got her. Did you say her? Hmm. Well, there's a twist. I'm heading there right now. I mean, you are kind of right in front of me. What have we got here? Disturbing diary. Uh, BM. Oh my god, she's tracking Blue Moon. 8.47 a.m. Blue Moon got out of bed. Blue Moon in the bathroom, taking a shower. Eats breakfast. Coffee toast. Tiancha. BM on computer with personal trainer. Watching TV with PF, Purple Force. BM leaves house in store. Eating lunch with Purple Force and RM. Uh, Red Menace. Blue Moon in bathroom, talking with heads of security, calling someone. Goes back home, calls down curtains, leaves house. Wonder if that someone was me. And another Buria. She really came equipped. Um, yeah, this is your uh, this is your freaky stalker guy, stalker guy, apparently. How how do you know it was her? She was acting weird. Turned out she was also packing iron and pictures of you, with your eyes cut out. Pretty solid evidence, wouldn't you say? Oh my god, V! Thank you, thank you so much! Don't You're mention very welcome. It. It's what I was paid to do. A girl like that? Who'd have thought? What... What do we do now? Um... Yeah, let's not do anything further, I think. I've already probably caused enough of a scene. Wait till the badges get here. What, what about when they let her out? Or, or she escapes? Then you give me another call. Okay. You're right. I... Thank you for everything. I'll transfer your Eddie soon. Promise. Go get a stiff drink. Cool your nerves. I think she needs it. Take care, Blue Moon. Now that that's a... Oh, shit! Oh. Great I knew timing. knew you'd come through. You're amazing. Wait, can we carry on an actual conversation with her? Now that that's over, you okay? I knew you'd come through. You're amazing. Okay. Um, travel safe. <laughs> Stay inconspicuous in your full bloom getup and your the four right karoshis. Um, not much chance. Right. Well, that was uh, that was different. Yeah. Thanks for the hand there, boys. Your uh, your favorite pop star was about to hit the deck there. Don't worry, I took care of it. Nice. Okay, so um, that's Blue Moon's little gig out of the way. Hopefully, we do have some eddies incoming from that. Let's take a look then and see what else is available for us uh, in the great city here. So we could travel south to meet up with El Capitan and pick up that jacket. Um, I suppose that's not such a bad idea. We could then maybe filter back through Santo Domingo and pick up one of those new side gigs. Yeah. Not a bad shout. Okay, let's do that. So we'll head over to El Capitan. 4.6 kilometers. Bit of a trek. Let's get moving. Where's my Kusanagi? Here we go. Oh, hello. Eddie sent. Nice. How much did we get out of that? Wait, did we see? I don't think he even popped up. 
Oh, hello. Another text from El Capitan. Sounds like you found Muammar Reyes. Uh, no, it sounds like you found Martinez. This is Muammar Reyes. Or Martinez found you. Whatever the case, someone left you a package. I can keep an eye on it, but that's it. I ain't a fucking delivery boy. All right, Cap, keep your wool on. Jesus. All right, so this is the lookout point where, uh, where I think we first met El Capitan, actually. Just west of the Petrochem Dam. Hey, here he is. Ah, in that box over there, okay. Oh, there we go, 8,280 eddies. That was the payment from Blue Moon. King through after we, uh, after we hopped off of the, the vehicle. Hey, Cap. Uh, right, he's got nothing to say about it, interestingly. Great to see you too. Thanks for the chat. So this is our uh, this is our gear by the looks of it. Oh, David's jacket. I heard that this was an item in the game. Very nice. So, um, what? <laughs> Hold on. Dial it back a minute. What is that armor? <laughs> what is that armor rating all about? Five point two armor. Oh my god. Seventeen percent explosion damage reduction. Okay. Nine percent stamina cost reduction while attacking. <laughs> 5.2 armor what's going on and that's legendary as well surely that's not right surely it's got a different value now it's in inventory that can't be right uh, there we go 199.8 armor that's better hold on hasn't it just lost oh no it's okay i thought it had lost a um a modification slot but uh no we're all good right well um I will try it on, but I don't know if my wardrobe setting is going to override it. Yeah, it looks like it is. Okay, let's put our actual jacket back on then that we uh, that we want to wear. And then use the handy dandy junk in the trunk mod to actually access our wardrobe on the fly and see what this thing actually looks like. So, uh, let's swap out jacket for Mr. Martinez's. Ooh. Oh, look at that. I actually quite like the yellow. I didn't realize it had that digital display inside the collar as well. That's very cool. And there's the edge runner symbol. Nice. Doesn't mesh too well with the belt on these trousers, but, uh, huh, okay. We'll roll with it. Right. Very cool. Okay. I don't know if I'll actually wear it. I don't think it really goes with the rest of the setup, but, uh, hold on. Is that got... Oh, awesome. It's got the emergency um, logo on the back and the NC medical badge. Now, I was wondering, I uh, NC Night City. Hold on, what's that say? Night City. Can we get rid of the, just the, not the field of view. That's not what I'm looking for. Uh, get rid of depth of field. There we go. Night City emergency medical technician. And then we've got emergency model number. Okay. I was trying to see. If there's any sign as to whether this jacket and, by extension, David Martinez's mum, um, were part of, um, what are they called? Ario Meat Wagon? There's no sort of branding or anything for Meat Wagon, though, is there? Oh, huh, okay. Um, all right. Yeah, nice. But, um, yeah, as I say, I don't think I'll be keeping it as part of our, uh, our overall appearance. Pop through to our wardrobe again and just swap that back out. Um, what did we have on before? There we go. Lovely. Did I... Okay, I did save that. Good stuff. Right. Okay, well, at least we got it. Um, that was cool. Any new dialogue now? No. Shame. How's biz? I don't care for the word biz. Okay, great speaking to you. Bye-bye now. <laughs> right, let's Hang head back on, into the city. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm kind of done with you. Think of something new to say next time. <laughs> so we're now closing in on the easternmost of those two new gigs that were added to Arroyo in patch 1.6. Uh, just up here on the left by the looks of it. Let's see, where are we? Are we near anything we know? I think Claire's garage might be around here somewhere, but whoa. Hello. Um, NCPD, start down! Oh, who are they chasing? Oh, I'm getting in on some of these. 
<laughs> I want to see how this pans out. Wish I could see who it was in the car up ahead. Oh, I guess we're about to find out. Oh, here we go. Six Street? Yes, it is. Right, hold on. Let's see if we can ha can't help out the boys in blue. Uh, let's go for a system reset for you. Maybe a suicide for you. And then we'll just take a back seat, see how it pans out. Don't get yourself dead whilst my quick hacks are taking effect, boys. Had enough of the... And 6th Street are checking out. Oh, no! Just about took out that cop in the meantime. <laughs> nice, I got a little 100 eddy bonus for that. Um, right. Sorry your, uh, your partner bit the... No, it... Okay. Apparently you're not bothered. Guess I, <laughs> guess I shouldn't be either then. Bye. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Ran straight over his uh, his partner's still warm corpse. Bloody hell. Absolutely no remorse. <laughs> um right, any clues as to what you guys were actually running from or running for? Well, that doesn't seem to be. Okay. <laughs> Another day in Night City. Anyway, um back to the matter at hand. Let's see if we can't uh pull some sort of sense out of uh, what's going on around here in Santo. We travelled quite away from the, uh, the actual job point, didn't we? Here we go, down here on the left. So, um, back to our <laughs> regularly scheduled programming. Let's see what this little side giggy-poo is. Oh, it takes place in this building by the looks of it. Now, I can see headlights over... Can I see headlights over there? There's certainly something parked over there. It looks like this is 6th Street held, judging by the graffiti and the car. Let's take the rest on foot. Ooh, it's Rogue's job. There's one thing I'll never get about the Corpo Psyche. Okay. They got it all. Power, prestige, Scrooge levels of eddies, and they still act like complete gonks. <laughs> take my client, for instance. Some hotshot from Kang Tao went and got wasted in Arroyo. Then, well... Arroyo wasted him back. Oh, goody. He's alive, but lost something valuable. Whatever that means to these people. I need to find it before his overlords catch wind of it. Huh. Get to work. Details attached. So he's obviously misplaced something quite sensitive to Kang Tao. And uh, I'm guessing it's inside this building. What's that? Red, white, and used. Okay. Uh, so... Oh, good grief. Right. Retrieved the Kang Tao shard stolen from Karl Ginski. Hargreaves Street. This is all I know. Some guy named Karl Ginski started with a Merlot in city centre and ended up with jello shots at a dive in Santo Domingo. Classic case. Everyone's got to get fucked up from time to time. Know what I'm saying? As long as you do it smart. The problem is, Carl's brain had more uh, had more than a 0.23 BAC. It also had a shard. And on that shard lies corporate data, the top secret kind, the kind you don't talk about. So a rusted gut plastered suit stumbling through Santo Domingo with some platinum plated shard. What could go wrong? They jumped on him so fast that the only thing he saw was six street patches. If it weren't for the Deus Ex Machina that is trauma team, he'd probably be missing more than just his shard. Head over to where those sixes are holed up and recover Ginsky's property. If the Kang Tao top brat finds out, even Trauma Team won't be able to save him. Oh, and be sure to contact Carl when you get the shard. You should give it straight to him. Okay, let's see if we can't find Carl Ginsky's missing shard then. Uh, let's take a look. Interesting that I can... I can hack these guys from afar. I shouldn't be able to, in theory. They should be locked down, but... Oh, well, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, let's see. So Target has no... Looks like the Six Streeters aren't carrying grenades. System resets, some psychosis, suicide. Hmm. Right, let's plan out our loadout first before we go any further. Um, oh, that's a point. I wanted to take a look, didn't I, at that new knife that we picked up in the last missing persons shop. That's a really interesting looking blade. Very cool. Let's, uh, let's get Satori as our main weapon. That's a given. I'm going to bump out the blades, though. Let's take a look at the raw ability of these blades. So our main blade, our main knife that we've had so far is 1487 DPS, 
with various different adjustments because we've got a couple of mods. We've got an increased damage and increased crit damage by 10%. Okay. Uh, now, where's that new blade that we picked up? Here it is. 11.33.5 DPS. Um, physical damage, crit damage, and crit chance are less. But it's got a plus 250% headshot mod damage modifier, although the other one's got 300. Okay. Perfectly balanced. <laughs> Perfectly balanced, lethal, and fun. Be careful when throwing this knife. You could and will poke someone's Kuroshi out. Let's just take a little look what we can do with this thing in terms of upgrades because i'm quite intrigued in fact can we do we have a crafting spec for this sort of blade we don't which is fair enough uh we haven't come across it upgrades oh we can't upgrade it oh that's interesting that must already be at its top level okay it looks interesting i think it looks nicer than than it it, it actually uh is effective so let's just load up our two regular blades, but it might be worth keeping an eye open for uh, for different types of blades as we go along. I'm sure I'd heard as well that there's been the introduction of poison blades. Now, I don't know how effective that would actually be, seeing as we've um, we've already got something that makes all blades poisonous, but hey-ho, we'll see. Um, speaking of which, actually, let's take a quick look. Ninjutsu. No, it wasn't ninjutsu, was it? Was it, was it ninjutsu? Yeah, here we go. Venomous fangs. All knives apply poison. I must admit, the last couple of times I've thrown knives, I don't think I've seen any poison effects. Hmm. We're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to monitor that quite closely, I think. Oh, the whole reason I actually went in there was to change out our quick hacks and completely forgot. So we need to ditch one of these in favour of. Just a reset we'll keep. Short circuit we need to use a little bit more, I think. Cyberpsychosis. I'll take cyberpsychosis out, as I'm not too bothered about that. And we'll throw ping in its place. In fact, no, we won't. What we'll do is we'll put... We'll put silence burn out there. Because this is ping's home. Ping belongs in slot number one, for it is the lord and master of all great hacks. This is known. Okay, so. <laughs> back to what I was actually doing. Can we ping you? Yes, we can. I'm so glad after all that. Would have been a complete waste of time if uh, if I couldn't actually ping anyone after all of that performance. So. Oh, I think I can see. Yeah, I can see. No, damn it. That's not what I want to do. I can see a number of peeps in here. You two. You. You. Uh, oh, there's somebody over there. Can I actually get you tagged over the bins, though? Yes, I can. Nice. Nobody else outside by the looks of things. Right. So we got a bit of a sniper nest up there. I might... Hmm. Very tempting to just take that person down and breach the network, see if I can't throw a, uh, throw a few demons in. But what I'm going to do is just do a quick little loop at the building to see if there's any way up to roof level. Oh, hold on. Oh, we could very well be onto something here. All right, let's take a look. Hello. Hello. Right, there's nobody else around here, is there? I don't think so. You don't seem to be in a rush to turn around. Better check you haven't got brake hold. No, you haven't. Come here, my dear. Follow me. I very much wish to overload your neural port at the disadvantage of your brethren. Uh... Oh. <laughs> a thing happened. <laughs> I think Damon Netrunner might have been nerfed in the 1.6 upgrade. Um, hmm, I'm going to have to take a look at that. <laughs> That's not right. Okay, at least we've got... Uh, we know we've definitely got full network access now. Um, poo. So yeah, I need to take a look. Uh, do sit down. Thank you. I do need to take a look at that to work out why we didn't have access to our daemon hacks. That's a little bit disturbing. Okay. Nobody on this upper gantry. We've just got the two uh, fools down there. Oh, okay, that scared me slightly. So that was somebody... I think that's somebody down in the warehouse area that I was looking at before. Why have I got that gate focused? 
Oh, did I accidentally tag it? Yes, I did. Okay, that's fine. So let's uh, slide around this way. Is there? Oh, there's no, there's no alternative entrance. I don't think there's no roof hatches. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. No matter. Um, nothing of interest there. All right, let's uh, begin our infiltration. Now, where's this shard going to be holed up? Let's see, interesting, interesting. We've got a split level here. It looks like you and you are down on a lower level, and this gonk and that gonk are on the upper, I think. Am I going to be visible crossing over here? I don't think I am because he's looking down at that tablet. That's going to take me down to ground level. Hmm. Well, that's a gonk. That's an X gonk. Walk with me. Hello. <laughs> All right. Do we have anywhere to hide bodies around here? This is the question. Probably not. That would be far too convenient. No. Okay, you're going to have to just uh, stay put there by the looks of things. Ooh, goodies. All right, next, please. What I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly run a ping on another one of these gunks just to make sure that there's nobody on the inside here that I've missed. I don't First think there is. No. no, it looks like we're good. Your problem. Right, you're my next yeah. little target, I think. Always gonna be like this. Although, saying that, this fool over here could do with disappearing. I could probably just throw a system reset at you and have done. That person that almost spotted me just then seems to have moved away. Now, can I? <laughs> Hold on, you're gonna move, aren't you? Yeah, I thought as much. Ah, crap. I was gonna try and do like a bit of a spring drop attack. Am I gonna hit my head on something if I try and do that? I think I probably am. Let's just play it safe. Oh, crap. Can I run distract on anything? Maybe. Yes, I can. Something has come very much unlocked the going on? in the, uh, the little net running trinity that uh, we'd set up here by the looks of things. All right, let's quickly kill and hide. Now, Panish new. Hydery who? Anything in your bag? Oh, there's an archive conversation. No, I think this is going to get... Oh, hello. Right, we'll come back to that. Hi there. Good God, you're blind. Mm. I think if I could uh, grab that person from behind, choke out. Is there somebody upstairs still? No, looks like this is our last person. Oh, we can have some fun here. Uh, why are you moonwalking? That's quite a trick, actually. Have you, have you got motorized roller skates? Sit. Sit down. Never arise again. Is that really it? That was really it. Okay. I wonder if Rogue's going to chew me out for not being stealthy over this. I can imagine that going down. Uh... Right, now I'm going to try and pick up this archive conversation. I bet the bloody thing's going to disappear. Oh, no, we got it. Awesome. N normally, if you stuff someone into a container and uh, they had a shard on them, you can never retrieve it. They must have patched that out. Archive conversation between Doughboy and Jeff. You figure out a way to crack the shit from Ginsky? Working on it. Don't damage it. If it's got schematics, we'll be fucking loaded. Yeah, if they don't clip it from us first. Quit whining and let me know when you're in. <laughs> Oh, he knew in advance that this was a target. If only you'd listened. Okay. Uh, that's all of the... Uh, all of the goodies by the looks of it. Wait. An elevator? Where does this go? That doesn't go upstairs, does it? Right, let's take a quick look around upstairs. We've still got that guy that um, that we took down in... Oh, I can't get in here. Really? Can I hack it? No. All right, then. Keep your secrets. 
Uh, elevator, elevator. Oh, there is an elevator here. Okay. Does it literally just go between the two floors, or is there like a, a secret underground? Oh, that's boring. I thought it might go to an underground base or something. Oh, I got all excited. Right, well, it looks like that's the shard that we're after. Here's the gonk that... Uh, I'll let you live. You can tell others of the uh, the Phantom V that passed, passed through here. Oh, we've got a net running chair. Interesting. Oh, well, well. Uh, quite so. What have we got on this display here? Files, one, inventory. Hugo, we transported the larger items. The hottest one is secure. We're living behind other non-priority hardware and damaged items. If something's lost along the way, the guys will search here first thing, usually within a few days. Pretty thoroughly, I might add. The paperwork will show we're just storing old, damaged, dismantled junk. Nobody should catch on. Still, kick on ex uh, kick an extra toys you have any, any extra toys you have under the carpet. Okay. And here's our shard. Let's have a little nose around their laptop first. One message. Night ass kicking report. Okay. From Jeff Miller to Noah Doughboy Davis. That's the ones that we heard talking before. Incident report. One incident type public disturbance resulting in serious ass kicking and shard retrieval. Time around 2 a.m. Dunno, I ain't a fucking watchmaker. Location. Santo Domingo, Arroyo. So hold on. Is this Jeff having to fill out a, re a standard report template for Noah? Okay. It's very official. Um, participants, Jimmy, Pat, Plug, and me. Description. Not much to say, really. Some drunk gonk was screaming his ass off in the middle of the night, so I told him to shut it. The fucker calls me an ass muncher. Said I'm worth less than his piss. And then he pulled his pecker out to piss on me, I think. He had a corpo face with a corpo suit to match. So we gladly proceeded to beat the shit out of him. May have gone a bit too overboard because his trauma package triggered. Anywho, before we left, Jimmy drop kicked his face so hard a shard popped out of his neural. So we took it. Data was encrypted, but we knew the corpo's name was Carl Ginsky, searching, uh, slaving for Kangtao. We tried to decipher it now to see what the gonk stored in his head. Wow, so it looks like they didn't actually manage to, uh, hmm. to crack the thing in the end. Well, let's meander our way out. Uh, so we need to actually call this Carl Ginsky guy, don't we? Fuck, V. The six feet are calling in reinforcements. Grab the shard and delta out of there. <laughs> okay. I'm ready for them. Is that it? That's your reinforcements. Oh, that's disappointing, isn't it? Okay. Um, oh, I'd really like to get sort of an area of, an eff of, area of effect sort of thing going on. Do you know what? Screw it. Let's not bother with the quick hacks. Let's just, uh... Ooh, tell you what I will do. I'm going to pull out Ozop's nose because I'm still yet to use the bloody thing. Um, okay. That was colourful. <laughs> Do you know, it's got good Betty. Amazing. Let's get something a little bit more destructive, though. Um, oh, you'll do. Couple of proxy mines. Keep pushing. Come on in. I'm here. Where have you gone? Hiya. Come and chase me, why don't you? Flack. <laughs> oh, that was wonderful. No, no, don't get up on my again. Give me a clear shot. Well, why don't you come and take one? Okay, you're not... You're not at all interested, are you? Hmm. I think we need something a little bit more. In fact, tell you what. Why don't we do this instead? He can hear me, but he can't see me. Oh, San Devistan, eh? Okay. You got some sort of uh, damage effect on you. Come on, fuck. There we go. You'll do nicely. That was your backup. Really? One carload of people. Okay. Rogue seem mighty concerned for one carload of people. Let's grab what we can. Lovely stuff. Grab a bite to eat. Wait, did I actually eat something? No. Oh, hold on. What am I doing? Helps if you press the right button, V. Makeshift goggles. Right. Um... I guess we uh, we just see ourselves out then. 
Right, let's give this Karl Ginski a call, see where we need to drop this thing off. Got the data, what now? Good. Very good. We should meet as soon as possible. Oh. There's a place I know where... Hold on. Sending you the coordinates. See you soon, then. Don't wait. Hurry. He sounds... I was about to say he sounds concerned. More like he actually sounds injured. I don't like the sound of this. He was also cloaking his voice by the sounds of things, which is uh, a little bit unusual. He's not so far away either. In this construction yard? Well, he's on his feet, that's something. Ginsky? Oh, he's an older boy. Oh, thank God you're here. Eddie's oh. Carl. Oh God, he really got roughed up, didn't he? Right, right. Here. What? You got actual cash? Whoa! Fuck. Whoa! Oh, damn it! We were this fucking close. Hold on. Who's this? Oh God, it's Kang Tao. Oh God. Um. No. Fuck. Please. I'm, no. I'm not getting involved in this mess. How do you do, Carl? We almost fucking had it. The Whoa. hell is this? Scan him. <laughs> no vitals. Command, we can confirm. Carl Ginsky has been neutralized for illegal possession of company data. Oh, shit. What about her? Shit. You? Pack it up. This doesn't concern you. Um... I mean, it kind of does. I was kind of waiting for a paycheck from him. Um, yeah, how'd you track him down? Oh, it wasn't the shot that I've got, was it? How'd you find him? Maybe I didn't make myself clear. I'll say it slowly. Get the fuck out. I can have you put your gun to your head and blow your brains out in the blink of an eye. You might want to listen to me. Data you wanted? You'll want to thank me for that. And nothing says thank you like my fair share of Eddie's. <laughs> the data we wanted. You hear that? She thinks all this was for the data. Ah, oh, you really made my day. You deserve a little just for that. Yeah. Toss the murder candy. Hmm, a cred chip. Jeez, it's been a little while. Fuck you and your corpo dealings. That's it. And still it speaks. Oh, they always get down, down on their knees. Go fuck yourselves. Mm, this is going to turn interesting. Especially when he blows his own brain out in the uh, the back of the car. See you later, boys. Nice dealing with you. <laughs> to the honors. That's better. Oh, really? You want some, do you? After that, you want to... He's being run over by his own car. Wonderful. Okay, uh, some of that for you. For what can we throw on you? Sign that's burnout. Oh, whoa, they've got smart weapons. Right, let's let, wait for that uh, that Hello, grenade her. to take effect. Uh, Dakota, not right now. Uh, Rogue, not right now. Huh? Um, no, it's actually okay. turning out quite fun. Get off this time. <laughs> Short circuit for you. Predict the future. It happens to the best. Yeah. Whoa! Jesus, that's too rapid fire. Stun locking me. Watch it! Needed that! <laughs> you need this as well. Really? That didn't affect you at all? Hmm, okay. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> took down by my own explosive. Well, do you know what? That all turned out all right. Um, did we actually get credit from that cred chip? Or, oh, hold on. I've just spotted a loose end. Much better. Did we actually get the credit from that cred chip? Or did we maybe have to uh, dig through our inventory for it? What did the head honcho have on him? A new, a legendary new. Nice, not too bad. And some ammunition. Oh, wonderful. Now we're over encumbered. Oh my god, I made a little bit of a mess of this gentleman, didn't I? 
<laughs> Come on, sir. You're a trained mercenary. Pull yourself together. <laughs> Let's take a little look at the inventory and uh, see if we did have... Let's see. What's it going to be? They're usually under... All items? No. Um, there used to be a category specifically for quest items. I wonder if one of the mods that reorganizes our inventory has uh, squared that away. Let me see if I can track down this cred chip. Oh, hold on. Here we go. Credit chip. Oh, marvellous. He's still got the creds on. Um, so has that now credited us? No, it doesn't seem to have. I wonder if it had already applied the 2,000 creds. Nice. Um, okay. That's... Uh, What's fun, I think? Wait, so what did he have in the trunk here? Oh, I can't open it. Oh, rubbish. He's got lots of interesting things and stuff. Oh, we'll never see. Damn it. Okay. Um, guys, <laughs> thank you so much for joining me. That's about all we've got time for. If you'd like to leave a like or you care to leave a comment, pop those down in the usual spots and uh, head on over to the Discord as well when you can. It'd be great to see you over there. Uh, join in the conversation about where, uh, where we're going to end up next. And until next time, take good care of yourselves. I will see you then. Bye-bye.